Welcome to today's Choke Points brought to you by Online Trading Academy. Well, whether the tunnel opens on Monday the 4th on time or not doesn't really matter in the grand scheme because in a couple of days, we're going to be driving through that tunnel anyway. There's been so much talk about how we're going to get around without the tunnel and the 99 corridor. We haven't really talked about what to expect once you're in the tunnel. I've had the fortunate uh, time to be in and out of that tunnel a bunch over the last couple of years. And I just want to give you some ideas of what to expect. If you're on 99 going north or southbound, it's going to be no problem, a no brainer. You just go straight, you go into the tunnel. It's really not that big of a deal. Now, visually, I can tell you, be careful going northbound because the tunnel frames downtown Seattle perfectly. So you'll be driving in going, boy, our city looks cool. Don't take your eyes off the road, but you'll want to because it's, I mean, it's framed up right there for you. Then when you get in the tunnel, just be prepared. It's kind of like going in a water slide with a full tube because once you get into that decline, visually the decline might be a little scary to some people and you might just kind of be going too slow or be tempted to hit the brakes a little bit. Just be pre prepared uh, the first couple of times. It's a little visually intimidating, or it can be, at least I thought it could be. So that's something to look forward to about driving in the tunnel. Now, the most important things are the ways you get in and the ways you get out at the far north and the far south end. A lot of people have asked me, well, geez, there are no downtown exits. If I'm gonna go through downtown, say northbound, and then I used to get off at Western, what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna get off at Republican, the first exit there, but then I'm gonna do a UE and go right on the surface streets. Isn't that just gonna back things up in the tunnel? Well, they're aware of that and they're concerned about that. That's where they're gonna spend a lot of time tweaking the lights in real time to try to prevent things from backing into the tunnel. Because if they do, then the tunnel's no good anyway. So that's something they're prepared for. Be prepared for new north and southbound uh, entrances and roadways and intersections. And the south portal down by the stadiums, they're building an entirely brand new Dearborn interchange. It's going to be cool to go through. They're going to give you some more options. And the one real cool thing about this that I don't think a lot of people are thinking about, it's kind of been under the radar. Alaskan Way is now going to go all the way through and join East Marginal Way. If you're driving south past Coleman Dock and you normally had to jog under the Alaskan Way viaduct and get on first, you don't need to do that anymore. Just stay in the right-hand lane. You just go right on through. It also works in the northbound direction. That's going to be a great little trick to go from the waterfront and maybe down under and work your way to Burien without having to worry about getting onto I-5 or the West Seattle Bridge or things like that. So that's something to keep an eye on. We have videos here at MyNorthwest.com to take a look and show you some of those idiosyncrasies. Be prepared, plan ahead, and let's get ready. Let's start tunnel driving. And this choke point is brought to you by our friends at Online Trading Academy.